video I'm just going to show you uh, very quickly how I turn my Armour Senton into a Armour Big Rock. Uh, this originally was a Armour Senton Mega, so it was a brushed um, standard Senton. And over time I've upgraded it and I've turned it into a Big Rock. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's very straightforward, very simple. I'm just going to show you what parts I've had to change and also down in the description I'll give you a list of all the parts you need if you want to do this yourself. So the first thing I did was change obviously the motor and the ESC because this was the brush so I stuck in a Max 10 SCT uh, combo so that's a 3200 uh, motor 3660 and the um, ESC. I've also stuck on a fan, which is the Hobby Wing fan, which did come with a heat sink, which was meant to be a direct fit for this motor, but it didn't fit in. So what I've had to do is bodge it a little bit. I've used the original um, heat sink, and then I've just screwed this straight directly down, and it's holding really well. But it's a really good fan, this, and I really can recommend it because it does keep everything nice and cool. Uh, so that was my first upgrade, and this was at that point still a Senton. Uh, just upgraded to brushless. One of the other things I did at that time was I added the um, 0.8 mod slipper uh, clutch in there and that has the 0.8 mod spur gear and pinion gear as well and it's an easy transfer. All you need to do is buy the um, 0.8 mod slipper gear assembler and also the uh, pinion um, and I've gone for the 15 tooth pinion um, and I've just left the actual casing, the plastic one, because I was going to upgrade to the, the one that comes with the 3S is actually metal, but I've heard a lot of people say that it does actually bend and it can, you know, then damage your motor. So I've stuck with the plastic one because I think if it bends, it'll bend back. And I've had no issues with that at all. And because this was the V3 Senton Mega, um, it's already brushless ready. So it's already got the, the metal, uh, metal uh, gears inside. Um, so you can just, it's a direct fit. And the only other thing I added to the drivetrain was the actual speed bearing. Um, again, there's a couple of quid that it just clips on there. Um, and it just means that this doesn't rattle about as much. Um, but yeah, um, that was the next step really. And again, at this point, it was still a Senton. Um, so my next step was changing the uh, wheels and tyres. And I went for the Badlands um, MX-28. Um, really good tyres, um, lots of grip, uh, really good for if you want to do jumps and tricks. They do balloon a little bit, but if you want to do somersaults and stuff, then that's perfect. I uh, didn't have to change the 14mm hexes. All I did was buy the um, Raid, and then you can buy these little adapters, which actually goes directly onto the wheel, and that goes directly onto your hub then, so you don't have to mess around changing your hubs or anything like that. Um, and these were a direct fit. Then what I did next was I added some, now you don't have to do this, you could just leave the stock shocks on, um, but I was finding that with the stock shocks, they were constantly, when I was jumping it, um, coming away down here, because uh, it's only press fitted at the bottom with the stock shocks, and it was just popping out, popping out, and it's an easy fix to put it back in, and super glued it and stuff, but they just still flow out. So what I did is I upgraded to these Proline um, shocks. I mean, there is cheaper options out there. You can put the Typhon shocks on this. Um, Alibaba do some shocks. Um, you can get, there's lots of different options, but I really like the Proline ones. Um, I just think they're awesome shocks and they work really, really well. And again, shocks, ESC, motor, uh, drive, um, slipper clutch. Again, that was still a Senton. And that's when I got to the point where I didn't really want to mess up the Senton body because to fit these tyres on, you need to cut the Senton body. And I didn't want to do that. So I decided then, you know what, let's change it into a big rock. I was a bit sick of all the crap going inside here. Running the Senton because the body comes over the wheels, the crap just goes fills up in here. And I like the V3 big rock body. I think it looks absolutely awesome. So the first thing I did was get rid of the Nerf bars off here again it's a direct fit you just have to get the big rock part um, take off the um, nerf bars and everything that's already here on the center and this screws directly on there and then the body fits on nicely and it kind of keeps it all enclosed so that was my first um, 
hop up if you like or first um, change over to so I could fit the big rock body on. Um, I then had to, I wanted to make it wider so the V3 big rock comes with wider arms, very similar to the Typhon. So what we did is put these um, wider arms on. Now you can either go for the uh, standard RP, um, arm horns, but I went for the RPM. I thought I'm going to put them on anyway, a couple of quid more, but for me they're a little bit stronger. And the great thing about these RPM arms, you have two options for mounting your shock. So if you want a little bit of a lower stance, you can mount them a bit wider. If you want them to be a bit more upright, then you can put them on the inner. Um, I've been trying with both to be fair, and I'm not sure which I prefer yet. I think I prefer on the wider setting when it's a little bit lower to the ground, it, it kind of handles a little bit better in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so the arms were changed. Uh, then I wanted to, you could leave on the Senton bumper rear and front and the uh, big rock body will still go on. But again, I wanted it to be a full big rock. Um, so I got the wheelie bar, rear bumper and front bumper. And these bits here, you can just keep exactly the same. You don't have to change these. What you do have to change though, if you want to put the front and rear bumper on, is you have to buy the big rock skid plates. So this bit here and this bit here, you do have to change over so you can get on uh, the rear bumper and rear wheel wheelie bar and the front bumper as well. But it does, in my opinion, look a lot better when you've changed them over. Another thing you will have to change over is the, because this was a Mega, it didn't have the tie rods on it, it just had the, the standard rods, which you can't change. Um, so I had to buy a full set of tie rods and tie out rods ends. Um, so obviously it's a bit wider with these wider A arms, but you don't have to change the front or rear drive chains. Uh, you can keep the same drive trains on. Um, it doesn't matter, uh, they're the same one to the big rock as for the Senton. So they stayed exactly the same. It's a little bit mucky. I've just had it out for a, a bit of a bash. I'll put some videos of this doing some jumps afterwards. Um, and then the last thing that you have to change before you can put uh, the new body on is the body mounts. So the ones for the big rock are a lot thinner, as you can see, than what the centre ones are. The centre ones are here. But again, these just unscrew down here. Pop these out, pop the centre ones out, put the new ones in. I've got them on the highest setting. And then you can put the big rock body straight on there. Um, you can also, the RPM do some ones as well, um, which I was going to get, but they were out of stock. So I just went for the big rock ones, but they're a lot cheaper. And they're just going to directly fit onto there. And I think that is about it. And that changes you from a Senton over to a big rock and it's pretty straightforward really i mean if i can do it anybody can do it trust me uh, um, but i'm really happy i love the scent and body i really do the way it looks the way it drives is cool but for kind of bashing and jumping and especially in the uk where we have bad weather all the time and grass and mud and dust and dirt and rain um the scent is just a nightmare you, you spend an hour cleaning it afterwards as you can see it's just been out for a bash and it's you know it's been on the grass and it's a little bit it still needs a bit of a clean but overall it's um you know it doesn't get in the middle this bit here doesn't clog up the amount of times i've i went through different fans with the scent and because twigs and crap and stones got in here and it just ruined the blades um now the only other thing i have upgraded on this um is the actual bearings now the rubber bearings what come with the new um armor 3s range are rubbered but in my opinion not they're not the best uh so i got these ones i can't remember the top of my head what um they are but i'll put a link like i say again below i'll put what they are um these have been a lot better they're actually revolution bearings so on one side you've got the rubber and you can see on this one on the other side it's not rubber um so they're sealed on one side so in the wheels and the um hubs and everywhere else you just make sure the rubber's on the outside and the num rubber is on the inside and what that means the revolution ones is it still keeps all the crap from getting in and you put the rubber on the outside bit um but they actually spin a lot better they're a lot more freer um the amount of bearings that blew in the back of this transmission was unbelievable with the stock ones i went through about two or three 
um because I, I just bought some spare ones of them but they just kept blowing uh since i picked these bearings in i've had no issues at all another great tip i find as well is um it was i think paul oh, i can't remember his name now there's a guy on youtube i watched some of his videos and his name's just gone out of my head but he said about putting some grease or something underneath this bit here when you slide it back in and i also put it under the tab here what pulls out as well uh, i actually used um the same grease that i used to do my shocks um associate slime it's called um and it helps with like stopping leaks uh the shock leaking you put it onto the rubber bearings when you put the shocks on and it just makes it a lot smoother and keeps it from leaking and i put a load of slime under this and uh, every time i take this out i put some clean it put some slime and it really does work a it makes it easier to actually get this out and in um and b it stops all the dirt and shit getting it under there um it just sticks to the actual grease slime whatever you want to use and it stops it from actually getting any further back uh works a treat really 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 good um tip with that one um really good so that is now my armor Santon turned into an armor big rock i went for a stock uh, black body in there and yeah I think it looks absolutely awesome. Um, really fit. I mean, it fits perfectly. It just goes straight on there. Um, no issues at all. And yeah, it's um, really happy with that. Now, you know, you could argue that, well, look, just sell your Senton and then buy a big rock. And I've not worked out the money, to be totally honest with you. Um, I really haven't, uh, what the difference is. But I already had the Senton. I've had it a while. I had some fun with it. Um, and to be fair, the parts I've taken off the Senton, um, I've refurbished, I've refurbished the shock for the V3 shock so they don't leak, even though they've got that issue with coming out. But um, So I can sell them on eBay as used. Uh, I've got all the side bars, I've got all the um, rod ends, um, I've got the tyres, which are like, still like brand new because I've never run it on pavement. So it was always off road, so the tyres and wheels are like new. So there's a lot of stuff there, but I took off the Senton. Um, I can you know, sell or um you know i can buy a chassis and um a few bits and bats and i could actually make up the sensing again if i really wanted to so that's an option as well but yeah there it is i hope you find that helpful if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to comment but i'll put a link down below like i say for all the part numbers that you need if i've missed anything i do apologize but i don't think i have um but yeah there you go and enjoy a bit of footage from earlier today thanks for watching take care Bye -bye.